don't just live for tomorrow Or just live for yesterday Just be glad for all you have that's in today Hey everyone, Connie here and welcome to my blind reaction to Dororo episode 11 it's been quite a while because of the holidays and everything and having like less of a schedule and just less things being reacted to. Um, Dororo has kind of been put on the back burner for pretty much this entire month. So we haven't had a reaction since the episodes 9 and 10 reaction at the beginning of December. Unfortunately. But we're back now. Um, and before we get started... Um, I want, to, I want to quickly talk about the opening of this. So I've talked about how I like the opening of Dororo before, but I want to specifically talk about right now the singer behind the opening. Um, the opening is sang by Queen B, which is a Japanese pop, or not pop, punk rock band um, led by Evuchan. Evuchan is who I want to talk about here. Um, Evuchan is a mixed race, half black, half Japanese person, and is trans non binary. It was really cool find, when I found this out, and I, I, I was kind of geeking out about it. I heard the full version of the of this theme song here. I, I heard a couple other songs by Queen Bee, and it's like it's just really cool, because especially because of how Japan isn't fully caught up with a lot of the world in uh, LGBTQ plus manners. So it's really cool knowing that this. This singer who has done songs for multiple different anime, including Tokyo Ghoul Re, ha is trans non-binary. Um, Evuchan has gone by she, her pronouns, but as of actually this month, the official website does not, not any longer list those. For them. Uh, most of the time, Abuchan has gone by they, them pronouns, and usually has only gone by she, her pronouns when uh, going through English interviews and stuff like that. Um, so it, it seems like maybe they're kind of trying to go entirely into that now, which, I mean, kudos to, kudos to them for going with it. Kudos to them for uh, finding the courage to do so. Um, especially as as a Japanese person, it can't be easy uh, with just how unaccepting they still are, despite what some anime might make you believe. <laughs> um, but, but it's awesome. It's just a really cool detail I found out. I wanted to share here. But let's talk about the actual series. So last we left off, we had a more um, noticeable, well, that's not what the word I was thinking of, a more active role being taken by Hyaki Maru's younger brother, who, of course, Hyaki Maru doesn't know is his younger brother, but you know what I mean the second son of Lord Daigo. And I can't remember the brother's name right now. But he's starting to take a more active role as he feels his father isn't telling him enough, that his father is not trusting him. And so he went out and he's trying to serve his people. And he actually seems like a pretty good guy. He genuinely wants to serve his people. Unlike his father, Daigo, who is only doing it for selfish purposes and just wants power. Um, so he seemed like a cool guy, and he even worked with Hiyakimaru unknowingly. Um, he didn't realize that was the, he didn't realize that was Hiyakimaru who he had just found out about. 
Um, and, and he only found out little bits about him. He did. He doesn't know everything, but still. <sighs> Hiyaki Maru's continuing to grow. Dororo is continuing to grow. Um, they're continuing to go along their journey and basically um, they're kind of building each other up in a way as as the series goes on and I like to see that but there's like this crab demon who they had to fight um and they like I said they kind of work ended up working together um not knowing who each other were <laughs> so it, it was really interesting it, it was really interesting to say the least um but yeah we're going to continue on now I do know that the opening changes in episode 13. I do know of that. And I feel like that's going to kind of mean that that's a turning point in the series. Usually that's how they work it, where the opening changes um, signify a turning point in, in, in the show. Um, One Piece is kind of a big exception to that because one piece just goes on so long and has so many openings it's just they have to kind of place them where they place them but for a lot of shows when they change the opening like that they want to of course it's just because the show is going on so long but they want to kind of like how would i put it time it to where it, it kind of coincides with uh like a change in the narrative or something happening or whatnot. Um, a lot of times there'll just be like a new arc or new focus going on. Um, but it, I, I, I don't expect it to be quite like JoJo where it's like, <laughs> like it signifies big changes happening uh, narratively. Um, but yeah, I'm expecting it to notably change at that point because that's halfway through the series anyway um so I, i'm expecting something within these next few episodes to kind of really kick off um whether it be involving daigo the brother um the um prosthetic maker or someone else or something else there's a character in the opening we still haven't seen i swear at least one Possibly a couple. Um, one for sure, though, he kind of looks like this warrior guy. He's like has armor, this big thick beard. I think he might have an eye patch, but I'm, I'm not 100% on that one. Um, but yeah, we haven't seen him yet. There's also this girl we haven't seen in the opening, this older girl. Um, unless that was one of the girls, like the, the, the one girl who died um, and made me really sad, unless that was supposed to be her. I don't think so. It didn't look like her. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. I don't know. But there's at least a notable character in the opening we haven't seen. Maybe more. Um, I'm just really interested to see where this second half goes. Once we get to it. Because there's a lot of characters we still haven't seen. If you think about it. Um, and, and on top of that... There's a lot of characters we haven't seen in a while. Like, again, the prosthetics maker. It's been a while since we've caught up with him. Or even the old uh, blind priest. It would be fun to catch up with him again. And, of course, we still got all the stuff going on with uh, Hyakimaru gaining back uh, his lost body parts from the demons and all. So, we've got plenty more to go with that. Plus, Hyakimaru just learning to use them entirely <laughs> um so we we got plenty of availability for more uh episodes it, it doesn't it doesn't feel like it's being unnaturally stretched out or anything it's it's actually handling it well um but that being said that being said we're just going to get into this i'm excited for more dororo um i apologize that we keep taking these breaks in between um this time it was at least due to the holidays so at least this time it was more valid <laughs> um 
But yeah, so let's just get on with this. So when the screen fades to black, um, pause the redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black, then it fades back in, everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts, and will contain spoilers to the episode. So that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. And we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. So, following Hiyakimaru's meeting with his brother, unknowingly of course, um, we finally get to Hiyakimaru and Daigo face to face at the end here. And it's like, geez, I really did not expect this to happen so soon. Like, if this confrontation's happening now, like, what is the second half of this series going to be like? This was something that I was really expecting to be, like, later on. Not necessarily the very end, but later on for sure. Uh, unless maybe this isn't, like, the final confrontation. This is only, like, a first confrontation, and that things will kind of progress from here on out. Um, we'll have to see, but... Yeah, this is really getting interesting. This episode dealt a lot with uh, the son who, again, I don't think his name was mentioned. I think he was just called, like, my lord throughout the episode. But uh, I dealt with him trying to learn more and starting to put together who Hiyakimaru is. Um, just things are progressing along that front. While Daigo finds out about it as well and pretty much instantly realizes that, that it's his son, um, as does his wife, who is, who basically just calls his bitch ass out on how terrible he is, and he just doubles down with being terrible by being sexist as well, by saying like, oh, women don't know politics. It's like, dude, really? I, I know, like, this takes place in, like, the past, but still, that's, that's not okay. Um... But anywho, anywho, um, so Daigo went off to meet up with uh, Yakimaru to confront him, bringing a small troop with him. Meanwhile, Yakimaru and Dororo are just kind of bumming around town. They uh, got a little bit of uh, money from, uh, from Yakimaru's brother for helping out. And now they're just kind of hanging around and learning more about what's going on. Uh, listening to rumors and all of that. They end up finding this, finding out about this wall called the Banmon, which is a wall between this nation, um, this uh, land uh, ruled by Lord Daigo, and the neighboring Asakura land. I think, I think that's what they called it, Asakura or Sasaka, something like that. Um, but it's very hostile to the point where if you cross the wall at all, you will be killed. The wall is a literal, like, barrier between the two lands. And they have sentries on guard at all times watching. However, the sentries aren't around at night because there are monsters at night. So at night they head home. Uh, the monsters are these foxfire spirits, these QB spirits. Um, and it's, it's really cool. Like, the animation on them, the visual of the foxfire spirits is just fantastic. Um, but we get to see Hiyakimaru fighting them um, while this boy that Hiyakimaru and Doro met crosses the wall to try and find his parents, who, let's be honest, they're probably dead. After the events that happened back when everything was put, when the wall was first put up, they're probably dead. And if not, they're at least imprisoned by this other land. They're, they're, it's not going to be good. Um, but he's still holding out hope, so he crosses, and Doro ends up going after him with Hiyakimaru holding off the Foxfire Spirits. Um, and... Doro ends up coming across these soldiers who had captured the kid. 
whose name, by the way, is like Sugeroku. Um, so they captured Sugeroku and then kind of caught Dororo as well. So things aren't going, going quite well there. Um, but yeah, not too much else happened in this episode. This was a part one, uh, it seems. So I think that this was more set up for what's going to happen in this next episode. The next episode is going to be much more intense, much more impactful, especially with Daigo and Hyakimaru now meeting. Um, but we also reunited with the old priest, the blind priest. Um, just kind of, they... Uh, recapped him on everything that's happened, and they shared a quick moment, but nothing really came of it yet, so there might be something more with that, maybe next episode. Um, but yeah, th there's not really too much to talk about here. Um, it seems like the big story that Daigo has told to the land and that they spread around is that he defeated the demons, um, when in reality he made a deal with them, which is a completely different thing. <laughs> um, and, and if the people found that out, they probably would not be super thrilled, just being honest. Um, there's also this seemingly crazy lady who, I don't know, it almost seemed to imply that she was, like, there, uh, working on, or working for Lord Daigo and helping deliver the baby. It, it almost seemed like it was implying that. But either way, she's kind of living now as like this kind of outcast, it seems. Um, just carrying around a rock as if it were a baby while singing a lullaby. And whenever she's confronted or anything, she seems to go on about this demon child that's there to destroy Lord Dogu or Daigo. Dogu. Lord Daigo. Um, at least she did when confronted by the Lord. Uh, the young lord, um, Hyakimaru's brother. But this is also after she had already seen Hyakimaru, who is who she calls the devil child. Or the demon child. But he's not even a demon. Like, he's just, he, he has been affected by demons. As she also mentioned, the demons ate his body parts and skin and everything. Also, I never really looked at it as they ate that, so that's kind of gross. <laughs> um, it was more like they just took it away, but whatever terminology you want to use, I guess. Um, but yeah, so she, she seemed crazy, but everything she was saying was technically true, so maybe she's like, in, in a way, some kind of seer or whatnot. Um, maybe we'll find out, maybe we won't, it's hard to say. Um, but yeah, it, it seems like other people even don't take her seriously. Like, they were even telling uh, Hyakamaru's brother, it's like, don't listen to her. Look at look at this lady. Don't listen to her. <laughs> um, but no, she's, she definitely seems to know what's going on, but I don't know. I don't know, like, what the deal with her is quite yet. I, and I don't know if we will get answers on that. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of really fun stuff that happened um, in this episode, but it, it was mostly set up, I feel, for the next one, since it is a two-parter. Um, and while I have the next episode already downloaded, I decided we're just going to leave it. I, I plan to do only the one episode today, so we're only doing the one episode today. Um, but we will get to that, and hopefully, hopefully... It won't take as long to get to the next reaction for Toro. Um, I do apologize for the long wait. I know a lot of you have been waiting for more of Doro. Um, but yeah, it's just the holidays messed that up. But we're back. We're back anyways. It, it's here. <laughs> um, so tell me what you thought of this episode down in the comments below. And thank you so much for tuning in. For now, I'm Connie and I'm signing off. See y'all next time.